So she's a diabetes educator. She's an executive member of DAY. She's a life member of IDA. Looking forward, Shubda, to your presentation. Over to you. And uh, you're going to talk about dairy products and diabetes. Over to you, Shubda. Good afternoon to all. I would like to thank the entire organizing team, especially Shilpa Joshi, ma'am, for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this prestigious academic event. You will all agree that nutrition is an ever-changing, ever-evolving field. One day, a certain food is good for health, and the next day, not so much, and vice versa. One of the recent nutritional controversies surrounds dairy foods. Today, I will discuss about dairy products in diabetes, good or bad. Most of our patients normally are being advised to consume low-fat dairy and toned milk, and some of them do not consume dairy products at all. This could be because of intolerance to lactose. Also, conventionally, the saturated fat content of milk is generally believed to be a culprit and is supposed to have a negative impact on the heart health. Milk also has a bad reputation for being linked to PCOS, acne, etc. How far all of this is true, we will discuss today. We as nutritionists should remember that the nutrient composition of milk depends on how the cow has been raised and fed. For example, grass-fed, pasture-fed cows Milk contains more beneficial fatty acids and vitamins than dairy-raised cows, and the grass-fed cow's milk has been linked with reduction of disease risks. Many queries come to our mind when we are talking to our patients. For example, can milk cause type 1 diabetes? Aren't the fats in the milk unhealthy? Can one drink milk if they have type 2 diabetes? What type of milk should one consume? Isn't drinking cow milk unnatural because humans are the only adult population which drink milk? Let's first understand why even milk is important. Milk is a full package of nutrition, or we may say that it's wholesome nutrition because it has fats, proteins, carbohydrates, various minerals, and fat-soluble vitamins. But the debate whether it is bad or good is a long one. The recent data suggests that milk, cheese, and yogurt may be more beneficial and actually be linked to reduced risk of heart disease, stroke, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and even some cancers. But today, let's just focus on type 2 diabetes. Numerous cohort studies have shown that increased dairy consumption is inversely associated with type 2 diabetes risk. This narrative review evaluated the evidence of dairy products intake on type 2 risk factors and prevention of type 2. Results, as you can see on the slide, was that most of the meta-analysis and systematic reviews of the cohort studies point to a reduced risk of type 2 with dairy intake of three servings per day. This effect was mainly attributed to the low-fat dairy, particularly yogurt and cheese. However, there is no evidence that high-fat dairy intake poses any harm. This randomized control study was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition last year. The objective was to evaluate the impact of higher consumption of high fat compared with low fat dairy on A1C, body weight, cardiovascular disease risk factors like blood pressure, lipids, etc. in patients with type 2 diabetes. 111 subjects with type 2 diabetes were enrolled who consumed less than three servings of dairy per day and were randomly assigned into three groups. The control group maintained baseline dairy intake. The low-fat group incorporated more than three servings per day of low-fat dairy. And the high-fat group incorporated more than three servings per day of high-fat dairy. As you see on the slide, the results were that there was no difference in the mean changes in A1C, body weight, BMI, body composition, or lipid parameters, or even blood pressure between the three groups at 24 weeks. Dairy-rich diet was linked to lower risks of diabetes and blood pressure in a large study. The PURE study, it was published in May 2020. The PURE study was the first to test people from 21 countries, including India. Dr. V. Mohan was also a co-author. 
it was an observational study and it was found that eating at least two daily servings of dairy lowered risk of diabetes and high blood pressure and metabolic syndrome. This slide represents the many potential mechanisms through which milk products may play a role in reducing the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. They reduce risk factors like hypertension, metabolic syndrome, uh, which definitely helps in reducing type 2 diabetes. Long-term intervention studies indicate that higher dairy intake may help improve insulin sensitivity. The calcium, magnesium, as well as vitamin D may reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes through their role in modulating insulin resistance and inflammation. Dairy products, we know, are very good for the gut microbiome. And we all know that the gut microbiome uh, reduces inflammation, good gut microbiome reduces inflammation and hence reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes. Whey protein may promote insulin sensitivity, improve glucose tolerance. High circulating levels of trans palmitolonic acid, a fatty acid which is naturally found in the dairy, reduces the risk of type 2, type 2 diabetes, maybe nearly up to 60%. The odd chain fatty acids found in the dairy were actually associated with uh, the risk prevention of heart diseases and diabetes. I repeat, the odd chain, not the even chain fatty acids. Higher consumption of milk products is associated with the reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And the emerging evidence suggests that higher fat milk produces uh, a product, especially uh, are protective even in those who have pre-diabetes. So not only type 2 diabetes and uh, risk factors of type 2 diabetes reduction is there, but also in pre-diabetes. And yogurt and cheese in particular appear to be protective against type 2 diabetes. So there are some studies which are talking about yogurt, cheese, and whole milk. For yogurt, 17% reduction, risk reduction in one study, 15% risk reduction in another. And definitely we know that yogurt has pre pre probiotics and uh, it improves insulin sensitivity, reduces inflammation. Cheese has uh, a low GI and it is high in protein and henceforth it reduces blood sugar spikes whole milk, uh, the whey protein we have already spoken about, and it has bioactive peptides, which also helps control blood pressure, which is a risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Now, we all say that uh, for most of the things, moderation is key uh, in nutrition, and same goes for dairy, and excess of anything is detrimental to health. So we have to also take in account that uh, milk has carbohydrates. So whenever we are planning a diet for a person with diabetes, we have to uh, make sure that we count the carbohydrates in the milk and we limit the servings to not more than two or three per day and definitely be mindful of calories of the fat which is coming from the milk. So it's not about the fat, but it's also about the calories which is coming from the milk. But definitely uh, milk is not at all harmful. We can go up to two to three servings for, for the individual. So please let your patients enjoy milk and you too enjoy milk every day. Thank you. Thank you very much.